Hey y'all. Um, we are going to be having the kids and the grandkids over for the weekend. We're going to have a fish fry for Memorial Day. And I wanted to um, make some coleslaw because that's really nice and cool when you're outside in the sun and the heat. And I love coleslaw with just some hush puppies. I could make a meal out of that. I don't have to have anything else. But of course I'll eat more. I'll eat some fish too. But um, first thing I want to do, I've been looking up. I love Kentucky Fried Chicken's Coleslaw. Y'all know it. Um, KFC. I know we can't call it fried chicken anymore. And so I'm, I'm going to try to replicate that. Um, I love that flavor. And it also reminds me of the one at Hollis Seafood. They make a homemade coleslaw. And every time I go, I get me a big old bowl of that and some hush puppies. <laughs> and that's mostly my meal. It really is. I love it. So anyway, I'm trying to make that here at the house for us this weekend. I've got a head of green cabbage, and I've got me a couple of medium-sized carrots. Um, calls for one large carrot, but you see mine aren't real big. So I've washed and I've peeled these. I'm going to core, cut the core out of this cabbage. But first thing, this recipe calls for a little bit of onion in your coleslaw. And I love the flavor of onion, but I don't like it to overpower the coleslaw because not everybody likes it. So I'm going to cut up a quarter cup of finely minced white onion. And then I'm going to soak it in water for a few minutes. And that is going to really cut down on its um, really loud onion flavor. It really milds it up. It milds it up. <laughs> it truly does. Because you don't need but a little bit, and you don't want it to have a real, real, real bright onion flavor. But you do want a little bit of that onion flavor. I'm up here paranoid one of my microphones isn't on. Yeah, okay, it's on. <laughs> it's heartbreaking when you do these and one of your microphones wasn't on and you can't air the video. I've done many videos that I just couldn't put on here because people weren't going to be able to hear me. That's a lot of work for nothing. You know it. It's time we missed out on finely mincing. Y'all see what I'm doing. I want this onion to be really, really tiny. So you don't take a big bite of a chunk of onion. And some people I know, they'll just go on and put onion powder. But I am going to do this and we're going to soak it in cold water. And that's going to make our onion flavor very mild for us. Let me grab my cold water. I've got it in the freezer. right here and this is about a quarter cup i should have measured it i guess i don't even know where my quarter is here we go here's a little quarter cup from a present from you yes yeah i've got more than a quarter and i don't want to overpower my slaw i want to just taste fresh cabbage and carrots and just have a little bit of seasoning with it so that's all i'm going to put is a quarter cup of that really minced white onion and I'm soaking that in cold water and then I'm going to drain it really well and it just makes your onion have a mild flavor that's all it does let's see all right onion let me get rid of him there we are clean up our board good huh yes rinse everything there we go I've already peeled my um, carrots and washed them, and I just need them in some chunks because we're going to do this in the food processor. And the way I've seen it done, that reminds me of at Hollis Seafood, and um, like KFC type is not really grated long strips of it, but tiny little bitty chunks. So we're going to process it like that in our food processor. Let's see. Put those there. I'm making my prep. I'm doing my prep work with y'all. Then I'm probably going to move y'all down onto the food itself because I want y'all to really see what I'm doing. I know. I'm sometimes I'm just all up in your face, but you not you can't see what I'm doing, right? And how you core a cabbage. And I peeled all the outer layer um, leaves on him, and I also washed him. <laughs> he's not too easy to get into is he there he goes some of y'all have asked about this little knife i have down in here 
these are members marks they come from sam's club and i love them they come in a pack of two and they're under twenty dollars i love them because if they get too dull i chunk them and i get me some more because they're not real expensive you see the cores in there right there that that white thing we don't want that core in there so you're just gonna cut that out of there it's kind of easier for me to do it one more time cut him in quarters then I can stand him up like this and just cut that core out. Get rid of that. I need my garbage bowl up here, don't I? I know it. Cut out his core. I've got some cakes baking in the oven that I'm hoping to do a video with y'all on. It's vanilla cakes. They smell so good. Oh, I hear my timer, guys. No wonder I can smell them so good. Let me check them, and I will be right back. Um, I think when I bring y'all back, I'll have y'all on the food. Okay, guys? I'll see y'all in just a second. All right, everybody. I've got a bowl. First thing we're going to do is mix up what we pour over our slaw. We're going to start with one half cup of milk. You can use whole milk. All John and I have is 2%, but whole milk would probably be better. Then we're going to put in one third cup. Making sure everybody can see this. One third cup of white sugar. And now we're going to put some lemon juice. And I need two and one half tablespoons of lemon juice. And I fresh squeezed some before I got on here. Yep, that's going to be exactly what we need right there. Then we need white vinegar. And this is two, one and one half tablespoons of white vinegar into the pot. And y'all, a lot of these recipes call for buttermilk, but when you put that lemon juice and vinegar in that whole milk, <laughs> it curdles anyway, just like buttermilk. It really does. And we're going to put in some salt, and this is one half teaspoon of salt. We also want to put some black pepper. You put as much as you want to. I'm just going to do a few cranks in here for some flavor. And then the only other thing we need is some mayonnaise. And I'm going to put one half cup of mayonnaise. Any brand, your favorite, Duke's, Hellman's, Blue Plate, whatever you want to put is what your slaw is going to have in it. Yes, it is. Put this to the side for me because I'll need that. And I'm just going to stir this all together and set it to the side and make it nice and creamy. Creamy, creamy. I'm just, I can't wait to be eating this. Sitting with my family with some fried fish and some hush puppies especially. Okay, there we have it. That's all we're going to need. I'm going to put this to the side, y'all. And then in front of me, I don't want to forget those onions I'm going to put in later. I'm going to stick them there that we got draining out of our cold water. In front of me, I've got the food processor and something I want to talk to y'all about. Um, you know, the grater attachment, I've got it over here in my dishwater. Let me get it back out. This grater attachment, it will grate if you want to use that. But it makes it have longer, you know how it grates, just like you buy it in the store, it's grated. But if you do it with this little blade, this little blade right here on your um, food processor, it makes it more like how you get it at KFC or in restaurants. It's in tiny little little bitty pieces and i love that i love that that's how they serve it at hollis seafood in spearsville louisiana and john and i love to go there i know i'm always giving them shout outs but we love to go there okay so that's what i wanted to show y'all that's the attachment that i'm using now then we've got to get our cabbage going i think some of this isn't isn't small enough i need to cut my cabbage in smaller pieces Amy, Amy, y'all just hang in there with me. Okay, guys, I'm back. I processed just enough. Let me give it another couple more pulses, and then I'm going to 
get it out of here. Because you don't want to over process this, you know, it'll make it get juicy and runny. Hold your blade in there, guys, and dump it into your bowl. Let me make sure, can y'all see my bowl? Can everybody see my bowl, too? I think you can. Just be careful around that blade and get all your little cabbage out. See how it's in nice little bits? I love that. Love that for cabbage. Slaw. For cabbage slaw. Okay, y'all. Now, let's put the next next little batch in here. Kind of just do it in little batches. I always want to just pack it in. <laughs> I know. I'm in a hurry. John's chomping at the bit for us to go get this truck. Go get this truck. It's been in the shop and he needs it. Well, every time I'm on here with y'all, it does this. That's so crazy. Get down in there and behave. Behave for our people. Did you overstuff it again, Amy? Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. I guess I did, guys. I'm going to get it right with y'all one time on here. I am. I am. Yes, I am. Little bad. There we go. Little batches, Amy. Little batches. Keep telling me that. Little batches. Okay, guys. Doesn't that look beautiful? Oh, makes the best slaw. The best. Okay, y'all. Little batches. Y'all tell me. Keep me straight. Keep me straight. All right. That ought to be... Maybe that's little enough, guys. Glad I'm down here in the candy kitchen. I'm making a big mess. <laughs> This is like a medium-sized green uh, cabbage, too. Just so y'all know, it's like not a huge one. Okay. You can do it. There we go. Now then. Teeny tiny little batches, huh? That's okay. Let me get some of this out of here with my spatula. Now then, we got one more little batch of cabbage, and then we'll do our carrots. And we will put this sauce on here and refrigerate it overnight. It's going to taste so good. Y'all know I'm going to have to taste it with y'all first, though. <laughs> Before we refrigerate it overnight, I can't wait. I just can't wait that long. No, I can't. No, no, no. All right, here we go. Uh-huh. Just a couple more pulses, guys. There we are. Looks so good. So good and fresh. My blade fell out. I didn't hold on to him, did I? He said, hold me. Alright, guys. Now, I've got my carrot. And like I say, the recipe calls for one large carrot. But y'all saw my carrots. They're kind of... They're kind of skinny. They're kind of not large, so I put two. Just however much. And if you like more carrot, do more. <laughs> Just that quickly, that carrot got right up, didn't it? Okay, let's get all of this goodness out of here. And then I'm going to get y'all on to the bowl together. I know y'all are all, everybody's having to kind of look, right? All right, guys, push my mess to the side. That'll be for cleanup, huh? Which is me. Clean up, which is me. Okay, can everybody see it now? I think y'all can. Doesn't that look good so far? Yes, it does. Y'all remember our onion that we soaked in that cold water to make them really mild tasting. I'm going to put that in there. 
and all we have left now is our luscious little sauce to put over this and that's it if you don't like white uh, vinegar you could use apple cider vinegar I believe that would work okay too I sure do y'all see I'm not needing this whole big old bowl but I wanted to use it to mix everything up and I don't want to waste any of this goodness I sure do not we're gonna put it all in here and we can just use this we're gonna to toss it about oh y'all I just want to sit down right now with a spoon <laughs> yes I do yes I do yummy oh my goodness I moved y'all back again so y'all can see this beautiful beautiful bowl of slaw oh it looks so good <laughs> I wanted to taste it with y'all as well let's see I can't wait guys let's do it I'm gonna put it in a smaller bowl now I'm trying to take a little bite I'm always taking big bites with y'all <laughs> I'm silly Mm. <laughs> are you kidding me oh my goodness wow this already tastes really 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 good and very similar to kfc's and hollis's and oh my goodness this is gonna be wonderful wonderful i'm gonna put it in this bowl and i'm going to cover it overnight in the refrigerator so all its little flavors can come together and if it's tasting any better than this y'all please go make it don't even take my word for it just go make it oh I wish I could give all of y'all a bite of this and a hush puppy or two yes I do yes I do all right bowl are you gonna be big enough he says I don't know let's see let's see yeah he's gonna be just right just right all right y'all i gotta get myself cleaned up and down in here and i got to run and john to monroe to pick up his truck we bought this truck and a big fancy trailer i know y'all saw that fancy trailer it's been up in our yard and he hadn't been able to haul that trailer around this thing's been in the shop getting his computer changed out and all sorts of stuff so so he is like jumping at the bit like I said y'all see what I'm doing just put it down in this bowl just like this and I'm gonna cover it with plastic wrap put it in the refrigerator yes keep it refrigerated yes somebody still asked that question <laughs> oh goodness just like that child in school were y'all in school with that student that at the end of the day raised their hand after teachers gone through everything we need to know and be like do we have any homework and the teachers already told us all our homework and we've all been writing it down you think where in the world have you been <laughs> we would all just melt in our chair ah oh! because then she'd keep us after after the bell rang tell us again and we already knew <laughs> were you that student <laughs> here we go guys into the refrigerator and i hope all y'all have a great weekend I do, I do, and I love you all, and I will see y'all next time.